G'day folks and welcome to the Salt Min Factory. Today I'm just going to go over our latest release and that's the Wombat 5 pit and cam cooker. I have one right here in front of me. I'm going to go through some of the key features and then I'm going to put it together. Now just briefly about the new concept of this fire pit is we designed this not to replace the wedge fire pit, rather to complement it. Now things like going away camping in larger groups when you require a lot more cooking surface area, this is over twice the size of the wedge. In cooking area it'll take two of our hot plates, it'll run three rotisseries. So we designed it with groups in mind such as 4x4 tag along expeditions, camps for say school groups or scouting groups or sporting clubs, um, also maybe for uh, going away with large groups of friends and family where you need a lot more cooking area and a larger firebox to keep warm at night. So I'll go through some of the key features and then I'm going to put it together for you. As you can see, it comes as a complete kit, totally flat packs, slots together without any tools or nuts or bolts to hold it together just like our wedge fire pit and camp cooker. First of all, and I'll show you one of the sides, straight away you might notice the steel that we've used here is commonly called checker plate, its correct name is tread plate, and we've used 5mm thick blue scope Excel plate steel, so the same grade as the wedge fire pit and can cooker. There's four of these sides, and they have a unique branding, slot me in and the wombat cut into the side. The reason we named it the wombat is, I had a wombat go through one of my tents at the prom once, so I've uh, given it an Aussie icon name behind it as well, seeing that's an all Australian product. I'll just put these sides over here briefly and then we'll put it together. While I've got this last one here, if you look side on, you'll be able to see that slight fold inwards. That's designed to hold the base once you've got the four sides in place. Comes with a set of uh, safety gloves, just like our wedge pipe pit and camp cooker. Now, I said it takes three rotisseries. Has three rotisserie bracket attachments here to run all three rotisseries included in the kit. Four cooking support bars to support, say, two hot plates or two grills or all your camp ovens for that matter will have great capacity with camp ovens easily fit four large camp ovens on it. Has our unique multi-tool as well for lifting the camp oven on and off the fire and of course our unique stubby opener included in that, can't go without that. The base here is quite square as you can see so it's a lot larger it doesn't have that V formation. On the rear of this piece of uh, tread plate you can see a unique fold on there we've just folded that upwards so that when you get a really hot fire you won't get this sheet bending down and buckling and uh, losing all the coals, it'll hold its shape. Now we've made the under tray from tread plate as well in aluminium, quite a lot larger than of course the wedge because it needs to be to catch any of the embers that fall out. I'm just going to put this aside shortly and um, this tray will hold the water. You can safely use this on uh, lawns, it won't burn the grass and you can keep it filled with water, you'll be able to use it on a deck as well. the base over here. So just take one of our sides, see our slots on either side here. Now the corresponding side here has slots either top or bottom and they will just simply slot in like that. Of course it's a lot easier to assemble when you've got it on the ground. Up at this height it's a bit awkward. Here. Like I said, when it's on the ground, you'll be able to put it together a lot easier. There you go. You've got your four sides of the fire pit, of course, you need to drop the base in. You have quite a large firebox now. Now these are a uh, cooking support bars, so they'll have our little unique posse lock notch in there as well. So they'll slide in across like that. I'll tilt it up shortly so you can see those. And that'll allow you to put, say, two hot plates. So I'll just tilt it up for you. You can see that. So you can see the four cooking support bars. So if I want to take a uh, camp oven, and that's where our moulding tool comes in handy. The uh, unique little 45 degree stocks there. Lift the camp oven to and from. So you can see that occupies about a quarter of the space. You can fit four camp ovens on there quite easily. Just take that off. One of our hot plates here. So designed initially for the wedge. And we've made this wombat take two hot plates. 
So you can fit two hot plates on there, or you might want to put a hot plate in a grill on it. Or two grills for that matter. So you can put the grill and the hot plate side by side. I'll take those off. Just to show you the rotisserie attachments on it. So you could leave those in if you want to rotisserate, so I will leave them in, there's no need to take them out just for this demonstration. So our rotisserie brackets have the little receiving member in there, like such. I'll spin it around for you as well, so you can see it side on, once I've got them all in. Same principle as the wedge fire pit and cam cooker. Now you can actually run three rotisseries at once. A bit further to stretch because it's a lot bigger. So there you go folks, you can see it'll take three rotisseries. Just spin it round. Roughly about 710 square, so it's quite a large firebox. And of course, when you're not cooking on it, you'll be able to take all these attachments off it and turn it into a really large firebox. So, like I said, we've designed it for larger groups to get away camping and enjoy their outdoors, keeping warm at night, getting around a really great big fire, but also having the uh, under tray here, which you sit in. I'm not going to lift it up because it actually is quite heavy, so you could always have two people who want to lift this up. It has two handles on either side and they're specifically designed on the sheets that won't come apart so that two people can carefully put it in the under tray and uh, get it all cranked up. So there you go folks, that's our new Wombat Fire Pit and Camp Cooker. Thanks for viewing. Cheers, Walsh Moz.